Hello and welcome back to Malachi's Journey to Financial Freedom. It has been a couple of weeks since I've made a video. It's been a very busy couple of weeks along with me blowing an account. And it was a high risk account that I was testing. And I'm glad I blew it before we set it up for the copy trading service. But it was something I was working on. That's a different story. Today, we are here to talk about the news catcher and the testing that we've been doing on that through Valerie Trading's news catcher. So I'm going to jump into the server and I'll show you what we've got going so far. We do have the Valerie Trading News Catcher running on a Longhorn demo account. This did start the 18th of April and it is now the 7th of June. It really has not been very active. It did initially start as you can see down here right away it took a $186 loss which is not really the way I would have liked for that to start. And that was on April 23rd. So it has kind of been grinding back its initial loss that it took. And I will say that overall, it hasn't done a horrible job of that. Since April 23rd, we're now at a $29 profit. And what we'll do is we'll just add up right here. 1.6314.2. So $165 since April 23rd in profit on a $5,000 account is about 3%, not too bad. And overall, it's making money. I do have it. Let's just go and we'll jump into the settings on this. And we'll just run through the basic settings. I do have the set on the high risk setting. Max risk per trade is five. Really, I think everything else, and this is a demo I just left as the basics. I think the only thing, let's see if I changed anything down here. I usually, when I do turn my stuff on, I turn the crash filter on. And I am now running all of my. Valerie trading bots with a setting for the max drawdown. And basically for the max floating drawdown is going to be 30%. And then at when I'm setting it up on live money, I'm going to prohibit opening any new trades at once it reaches a 30% drawdown. And then I can manually come in and take a look at what's going on and see if what I want to do. So on a demo account, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let it run. I want it to blow the account. If if it's going to blow, I want it to blow. The only other thing is it does have a recovery on here. That And let me find that setting. One of the things it does do is it does have a grid recovery set on there. I have it set to false. I don't want another grid martingale system. I've got plenty of those. They work but they do have their drawbacks. So I want something that's not going to trade like that. So I'm okay with a smaller, smaller wins and smaller losses and less risk on some of the accounts. And that's what, that's what this is doing. The, maybe the max historical volatility is restricting this sum. It's set at 30%, but that's pretty much the way it came right there. So let's just take a look. There was news obviously today and I really kind of wish it would have picked up on this trade right here on the pound USD. But basically it's Euro pound, Euro USD, pound USD is what it's trading. It's traded all of those and it's made a small amount of money. So overall running this for six weeks, it has not been super exceptional. I am looking for some other news trading bots. I did just download or purchase a package that has a news bot in it but I have not got it set up and running yet. So I'll add that and start testing that one as well, as well as Jay Blank, Jacoby Barksdale is redoing his bot. It was not working properly with some of the changes that had happened in how stuff was reacting to news. So he has been re redesigning that and reprogramming. So I will be running that again on a demo to see how it is doing. But that was relatively short, not much of an update, not a super exciting bot. Other than the one big loss, really, it's it's kind of just plugging along at a at two or three percent a month, 
So we'll come back. I was hoping more for like a 5% a month bot out of this one, which is what the back testing kind of showed, but it does look like it has some portions of dead time. So I'll keep running this for 90 days, see how it does. Once the Longhorn demo expires, if it's doing so-so, I may let it run and try and give it a longer period to see how it goes. So until next time, folks, have a good day and thanks for watching. If you do like what you see, do me a favor, hit the like, hit the subscribe. I do need 1,000 subscriptions to try and monetize this. I do want to be able to show people how YouTube pays those people that make videos. So, and just how much people make something that people can do from their home and try and make some passive income. So once again, do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe. Thank you very much. And I'll see you on the next one.